Oh, uh, down smash. Not able to get the ledge guard. Oh! Sonics on Sonic. This is a matchup that we have seen quite a few times. Gonna have to see how it plays out tonight. This is one that Emality has traditionally struggled with matchup wise. Has been a a character that is, if any character has taken set more sets uh, on Emality than any other, it's probably been Sonic, at least as far as lag spike is concerned. So let's see how this works out. And as per usual, we see Emality. Having to make the uh, the aggressive moves, or never mind, Sonic's actually going in, getting aggressive and sending Anality way off stage there. 92% now on Anality. Damage is already racking up. And this uh, corner situation, not working out super great for Anality though. Wow, the parry, or for Sonic rather, the parry there, setting up for another jab, power dunk combo, racking up the percentage. Anality just taking time, looking for the right moment to get in. The go moves are online, but Anality not able to make it back to stage to utilize them. Stock already gone. Sonic's utilizing that movement, staying out of this fighting game character's range to continue to rack up damage. And the spin dash, again, causing all kinds of problems for Anality. There's just not a lot of great ways for Anality to find the hits they need to find on a character moving that fast. But once they do, that damage does rack up pretty quick. Sonic's trying to find that two frame with the forward smash again. Not going to happen. Shielding out the power dunk as well. This time, the two frame it does confirm another stock gone. Sonic's already running away with this. They are playing from the loser's side of this of this grand finals, so they will need to make a bracket reset to take grams here. But this is a uh, strong, strong way to start. And now we're seeing the uh, traditional Sonic's wait and see approach, the bait and punish. Waiting for Nality to make the aggressive move there. Dash attack, catching off ledge and nearly killing, but Nality not quite confirming the stock. Sonics is looking for something to shut this match down, like that forward smash, for example. Didn't find the first one, but the second one does hit. That is a quick 3-0 coming out from Sonics. And that is, uh, boy, well, you've got to go through a whole bracket reset to make your way back into uh, first place here. That is definitely the way you want to start things off. And a fast match at that from what we're used to with uh, Sonics here. So definitely kicking things off here with a little bit of spice. And we're just going right back to it. And Aldi opting to take the run back here for game two. We'll have to see if uh, Analdi can sharpen up some of the uh, some of the approaches they got punished for. Sonics already all the way back to the corner and charging spin dash to find an opening. Anality winning out on that trade though, finding the grab, a couple of solid up airs there, and just applying as much safe pressure on shield as possible. Not trying to get caught by any out of shield options. Trying to just apply that damage and try to catch Anality's or Sonic's out of shield option there. And so far working out very well for them here in this game two. Even, oh wow, the spacing on that. Running out and then being in just the right spot to find the forward air on the spin dash as Sonic's trying to chase. Power Wave 2 also shutting down that spin dash as an option from a distance. Racking up damage a little bit at a time. Ooh, just out of the way of that spin dash as well. This is definitely, uh, oh, two down tilt into the power, into the, uh, oh, what is, oh man, I lost the name of the move. The uh, neutral for the forward be there. We got the go moves online though, but not gonna actually be used there. Anality uh, stuck off stage 
from 100% to dead from some excellent edge guarding off stage by Sonics. And now we're, we're actually really brawling here. It's, the distance between the fighters here is much shorter than we're used to seeing in these matchups. This is less running away from Sonics and a lot more mid range, a lot more just outside of arm reach. Gomu's online again and once again before Emily's feet can even touch the stage. The stock is just gone. Sonics is uh, Sonics is saying they are done playing for the night. They are ready to wrap this one up and go home with their first place prize money. Thank you, please. And uh, Anality, so far, not uh, having a whole lot of success in uh, changing changing their mind. But there's still plenty of set to go here. Anality taking their time. That empty forward tilt, though, is going to get with punished. Sonic's just with punishing left and right here. Everything Anality throws out that does not hit is just causing another combo, another stack of damage on an Alley, piece by piece. And that is a stressful situation to be in because ultimately you got to hit buttons to play the game, but it can uh, it can really get frustrating, really get discouraging. Like every button you hit feels like it is getting shut down and punished. And that is uh, the situation Anality is in right now. Sonic's just varying up the momentum with spin dash, the homing attacks, staying just outside of arm's reach. And now he gets a solid down tilt in. The go moves are online, immediately ripping a power geyser. At least wants to get one go move off. You know, maybe it doesn't connect, but a second one, too, doesn't connect as well. Sonic's being clever about waiting it out and then catching the forward tilt as Anality waits a little too long on the ledge. Sonic's now taking game two. This is uh, already not looking great for Anality, who, you know, managed to make it all the way up here on the winner side of Grand Finals, but didn't have to play Sonics on the way up. Sonics was knocked out of winners by Castle. So this is the first time they've had to play tonight. And uh, so far, Sonics is looking uh, looking to be leaps and bounds ahead of the matchup as it stands currently. Anality pulling back. Maybe changing stage, maybe changing character, maybe both. We're going to find out here in just a moment. But something definitely seems to not be working in the Terry versus Sonic matchup here tonight. So we'll have to see where Anality wants to go with this from here. Deciding on our stage here. All right, switching to the Kazuya. That strikes me as an interesting choice because if i remember correctly i feel like the kazuya came out a little while back maybe a tournament or two ago versus sonics and didn't have a whole lot of success it felt like a lot of the same weaknesses some of the other fighting game characters had versus sonics uh and without really being able to reap the rewards of even deadlier blow-ups but maybe you know maybe some things have changed between then and now maybe this is what anality is uh ready to play tonight and hey, you know, got the first opening, solid 40% off of the grab there. The lasers applying pressure so long as Sonics isn't in spin dash. And even being off the ground there, hovering with the laser meant they could uh, be over the spin dash. Oh, 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 there just wasn't quite enough time on that setup from the uh, the Wind God Fist there into the up smash. Sonics just barely able to get out. But Anality also now possessing this up B with a pretty generous, you know, amount of distance upwards it can cover and deal damage to, meaning they have a, uh, a solid out-of-shield option here in this matchup to cover Sonic's uh, keep-away game, depending on the momentum that they choose. Oh, and it also powers through Spring. That's kind of nice. One last thing you got to worry about offstage. So far, though, it's working out. Laser's applying a little extra damage offstage as well. Kazuya really can't go out there to fight, but can definitely uh, poke and prod with the lasers. Oh, wow, was that just a raw Wind God, Electric Wind God Fist on Spin Dash and Up Smash? That, that's pretty, uh, that's gutsy, but it worked out. Got the stock, and now now a stock ahead with the Kazuya. Maybe this is the character we needed to see. Maybe this is the adaptation. Going way high there, too, with the upbeat. The Rage Art is on line, but once again, it's looking like Sonics might be trying to just shut that down before Anality can get a chance to use it as absolutely the case there. The laser uh, finding a little bit less success here versus Sonic's now the spin dash is uh, becoming more of the go-to move here in the neutral situation. 
that does low profile something as high as the Kazuya Eye Laser. And finality not oh having trouble finding confirms on a couple of these. Hitting a couple of stray hits, but not to confirm any. The platform interrupting the combo with the Wing God Fist as well. Taking the uh, the down B command grab instead, but that's not going to kill like that up smash might have. Finality uh, still, though, is finding hit after hit. Another up B out of shield, and that actually kills at 131. Finality now at 43%. Quite a distance. Quite a lead here to work with, but we have seen Sonic's even those leads up real fast with exactly this situation off stage, just applying so much pressure off stage against this character. It does not really have options out there outside of the upbeat. And now he survives at this time though, and is back onto the stage and fighting. That might just be oh, we'll try to actually go for up smash maybe or wind god fist out of shield there, but Sonic's was ready for it. Was that? No, he just did not. Jab, two jabs into the Rage Art Command Grab and just kamikaze it off the stage to take game three. Kazi is still alive, still keeping the bracket reset at bay here and taking the first win. But what a way to find that last stock. That was, that was, that was a mean setup. That was a mean setup. Conditioning out the shield with the jab and then not even taking the damage on the command grab or trying to kill with it, just take it right off the stage. But hey, you know, you got that extra stock to trade out. That's advantage. You take we take those. We take those. Going into game four here. Anality versus Sonics. And we are seeing a shift in the stage here, seeing Town and City instead. So we'll have some uh, some moving uh, platforms to consider. Some, uh, well, there's, there's a couple things to think about here. So the moving platforms provide Sonics with a, uh, a way to escape from certain things. They also make it a little bit riskier for Anality to up the other shield. Because now, if, if these platforms are in this configuration and Anality is stuck on the Legend shield and wants to up the out of it, that does mean they have to land up there. Where, if they miss, they might be set up for a punish. But hey, just don't miss. Hit the Electric Wind God Fist instead into the up smash. And that'll get you the stock and get you the lead. And that's, uh, that's what we're seeing play out here. We're now seeing the uh, Kalo style platform layout instead, which may not really have a huge effect on this matchup unless Anality gets knocked out there by one of these humming attacks. Anality uh, trying to get the damage here. Sonic's just rolling around, trying to find the right opening. Has to play even safer than usual here in this matchup on stage because you're already used to playing safe as Sonic, used to trying to find that shield pressure and just constant harassment in the safest way possible. But when you're playing against a character like Kazuya, who also blows you up on one or two interactions, uh, you gotta you gotta really double down on that safety. But, you know, this is a situation I feel like Sonic's enforces on other people quite often, but it's now the situation they find themselves in instead, where, yeah, you gotta be super careful about how you approach because of the kill power Kazuya has. But, you've also got a deficit and a timer. And there's only so much time you can spend. Oh, Kazuya having to go way low there. Anality does make it back, though. We're just kind of taking a breather here. Taking a moment to size each other up. The Rage Art is online. The Rage Art does connect. Anality all up two stocks and looking fierce right now. Sonic's trying to set up the spring to stop Anality from getting back. It doesn't work with the back air. Certainly does. Now two to one. Sonic's finding some progress, finding some purchase in this matchup in these off-stage interactions. This is definitely not where Anality wants to be. This is where Sonic's is sort of evening up through the matchups, the corner situation, and the off-stage pressure. Anality immediately navigating back to mid-stage as soon as possible because they do not want to be in that situation. But Sonic's just kind of pushing them back out there time after time. There, the gap starting to narrow. Anality does get a solid command grab, but no combo off of it. They're right back off stage again. Navigating so well around everything that uh, Sonic's is putting out off stage, though. 
the rage art online as well with this is the same situation we saw last game there's the potential oh and now they try to actually take him off the top there comboing the uh, up air out of the up b but yeah there's the potential for the command grab hit here and just rip him right off stage for the kamikaze kill one more time never mind it's gone just enough damage coming out from sonics there to shut down that option getting up with the side b looking for the stun doesn't connect, but it does cross up and keeps Finality alive a little bit longer. But once again, forced to go low. Sonic's trying to cover every option they can. The forward tilt eventually does kill. And they only took, you know, they're only at 71% now. They've evened this back up so well. And they're trying to keep Finality from breaking back. Looking for the early edge guard kill, not quite going to happen. Electric Wind God Fist knocking Sonic's out of shield and sending them off the ledge. It is a weird, unique mechanic with that move that it does actually force you to drop shield kind of generally not relevant but it doesn't really do uh you can't really do anything after the combo once you force them to drop shield but it does mean you can push people off stage while they're in shield with that move which is a interesting little application there oh sonics is out for blood here trying to find the stock off stage does not want to let analogy back for any reason because the second analogy's back on the stage this could happen and sonics could die and analogy could be 2-2 in the set and we're going to game five here the kazuya looking a little a little a little scrappier there it was a little bit closer sonic's playing around kazuya's tools a little bit better but ultimately anality pulling out the win we're going to game five here in grants if sonics can take this one we're going to the bracket reset if not then Anality will be our grand champion for the night. Here we go. And we're just going right back. Right back here to town and city. This is the moment. And Kazuya being a, a pretty high execution character, too. I mean, you got to be confident, especially to pull this character out against someone who gives you such a, such a minuscule window to attack. Sonic's getting in aggressive here on stock one. You get the grab, but Anality answering right back. And boy, I can tell you, without even looking at the percentages, who wins on that trade? And now Anality just, uh, just stuffing out the ledge jumps there with the forward air. Applying pressure. Sonic's able to get back to stage, though, using the spin dash to threaten and try to find an opening. But Anality is respecting it. As a wind god fist, the up smash does not quite combo, though. That means it's, uh, Sonic gets to live just a little bit longer here. Anality needs to find another opening to take the stock. Looking for it, though, you're seeing the Wind God Fists come out. You're seeing the attempt at the combo starter happen. But Sonic's instead able to find a grab. Ooh, whoa! Sonic's went way out there with the homing attack, but it didn't hit it. And that meant that they just careened right into the blast zone and lost that stock. And now he tried to use the Rage Art there, too, to trade stocks with the Kamikaze one more time. But the Town and City platform in the Kalos arrangement prevented that from happening and Sonic's retaliating by taking a stock right back and Malady, that could have been such a huge windfall for them that could have been a huge advantage but instead this is relatively even maybe less than that the way that Sonic's is pressuring off stage right now and the grab as soon as Analogy gets back too I mean forward smash catching the two frame so excellently played there by Sonic's had one opportunity and took it for everything it was worth and got the stock, got the lead back, and is now back in control of this game pacing-wise. And now they going to have to be the one making the aggressive moves again. That means that Sonics can just kind of play that bait, play the bait and punish, play the pressure, and wait things out. You can see Anality maybe possibly get a little frustrated here, throwing out couple of attacks there try to catch an early spin dash in rage art is online oh the spring did connect analogy with the excellent wall jump tech but it's, it's little it's chip damage it's little bits and pieces and they're almost killing off the top sonic's looking for some kind of way to kill here rage art already back offline but we do have 163 percent on kazuya yeah that means you die at the slightest of touches here it also means you've got full rage and you can kill uh, at some pretty stupid low percents. But in order to do that, Analdi has to find the right hit. That forward tilt there, the forward kick, almost doing it. Up B though, catching the ledge option. Sonic's will come down with an aggressive option and it's the back air. How did I know? 
coming down immediately with the back air to take the first set of grants, 3-2, which means we are going to the bracket reset here. The Kazuya coming out just wasn't quite in time to stop Sonics from making the reset happen. Man, if that, and you got to be thinking too, if that platform, if that town and city platform hadn't been there in that configuration at that moment, that second suicide command grab, it would have worked out. But the platforms were there, and Sonics played an incredibly solid game to even things back up and then take a lead from that point, almost immediately retaliating from that situation with a stock. Playing the offstage game, throwing out as much hassle as possible, making life as difficult as possible for Anality offstage, and just was able to leverage that into the win, leverage that into the bracket reset. So now I think it's a change of stage choice here going into the bracket reset. But Anality is opting to stick with the Kazuga. So here we go on to PS2. And, and Sonic's now, you know, after having played a fairly aggressive last set, slowing things down a little bit more. And now they actually slipping off the ledge a little bit to try to make that horizontal laser come out at the right height, but it didn't quite work out. It gave Sonic an opening to move in instead. That one little mistake, though, it did give up a grab. And now they didn't get a combo, but something to uh, something to really be concerned about there, because there's a whole lot cause you can get off of those grabs if you start giving those up. Uh, he's going to retaliate there. This reversal coming out from Anality. Sonic's uh, overplaying on stage maybe just a little bit, but, you know, playing just as strong on stage. The forward smash and then the follow-up by bouncing out there into the full air. Sonic's putting up some very strong pressure there. And again, knows the win conditions here. Is trying to get Anality off stage as much as possible to abuse the less than stellar off stage game, less than stellar recovery that Kazuya has and taking their time as well to avoid, you know, spin dashing into an electric wind god fist or something like that that can cost them a stock. Maybe not cautious enough, and now they'll be able to find it that time with no confirm into the stock, shutting it down with the axe kick as well. But each one of these hits is just not quite killing. And not quite killing means Sonics gets another opportunity to set these offstage situations up. And another forward smash. Sonic's reading these get-up options so well right now. Always has that forward smash in exactly the right spot. I'm kind of amazed that Kazuya hasn't died for it yet already. But they won't have a whole lot longer at this rate. The Rage Art is online, but Sonic's does not care about that. Still just ripping damage out there. Spring setting up for the homing attack offstage. Anality given very few options to recover. Just comes back down with that dash attack, that jumping forward kick to at least get that first stock out of the way. Oh, this is going to be a big one. Kazuya going for the huge. Anality trying to find something huge off of that combo. But 55%, not bad, but it wasn't quite the string Anality was looking for. There was a little bit more there that did not quite connect as that Sonic shield came up. And now Sonic's once again just biding time with the spin dash at the far end of the stage. And Anality the one who's forced to try to move in and has to maintain patience here too which is so difficult to do when you almost had grands you were all by by just a hair you missed out on on winning grands in the first set and now sonics is testing your patience even further by just faking out approaches buying time and then stuffing out your approaches when you happen to go in sonics is just playing the mental game for everything they can get. Unfortunately, a little over eager on that back air is going to eat that Rage Art Command Grab, but that's the last Rage Art Command Grab Anality can put out this game because this is their last stock and you only get one per stock. And Sonic's once again cleanly sending Anality off stage, clicking back onto the stage ledge to set up for the falling down air. Got to take game one of the bracket reset as well. And it's just looking, it's been back and forth this whole time. It was looking like the easy 3-0 for Sonics early on versus the Terry. Because he came out and definitely shook things up a little bit. 
at, at that point, it was looking a lot better for Anality. The, the Kazuya was just putting so much pressure onto Sonics there. But Sonics, getting that game five was such a huge windfall for Sonics there. Because now, you, it just the amount of patience, the amount of mental stress you're able to put on your opponent while forcing them to be patient is not something to underestimate there. And look, immediate burst option off of the start of game one, sweeping an alley off stage, and then a perfect edge guard with the spring. With the spring. That's the zero to death. And now Sonics is once again in the lead and once again testing an alley's patience here. And actually, you know, forget testing patience, just straight up applying damage. Just putting hits onto Anality and racking up damage. These combo strings, I mean, this advantage, we've, this advantage state we've seen from Sonics has always been something to fear. Uh, you know, Sonic players, it, it's one thing when they are rushing through your shield and giving you very little opportunity to hit them back. You know, that's annoying. It's a problem. Oh, wow. Wait, that, what, what, what the? Spin dash met priority with a half charge Kazuya forward smash. All right, something's not right about that. Ah, I don't know there. Oh no, Got Anality out too far there again. I think just the, the patience has just run out this time in this matchup. And it's just only so much that a person can can manage. And I think Sonics has just about exhausted it from Anality here. I mean, this is just a three stock lead Three clean edge guards off stage and Sonic's taking game two of the bracket reset in convincing fashion. This is looking real grim for Anality here. This is their last chance. You gotta wonder, are we potentially seeing a character swap at this point? Or is Kazuya their best bet? From from where I'm sitting, it certainly to me felt like Kazuya was the best bet, but that metric might be shifting now. It, the Sonics seems to have this matchup on lock at the moment and just isn't letting anything slide. We are sticking, Anality is sticking with the Kazuya. We're going right here into game three, running it right back to the same stage. So this is it. Anality's bracket life and grand finals are on the line here. Sonics just needs one more clean win to take first place from the bracket reset. Anality playing so much more patient this game three. Backing up, waiting it out. Looking for an opportunity to get in. But it's Sonics ultimately that does get in first. Reading the roll in with another spin dash, and already at the 6 minute 30 second mark, Kazuya offstage once again. Not losing a stock this time. Sonic's edge guards are strong, maybe not that strong, but still enough to catch neutral get up with the forward smash, meaning Sonic does already have a one stock lead before the first minute is out. And this is aggression that you're not typically used to see from this player. This is so much more in your face and so much more pressure, so much less waiting on these early stocks than we're accustomed to seeing from Sonic's and Anality. Maybe just struggling to deal with this just a little bit here, not quite able to find the answers. Finding a solid hit on Sonic's is just proving to be impossible. And once you do, you've got a solid chance of taking a stock. I mean, kazuya has got crazy combos, crazy kill setup, but you gotta find that hit first. And that is the part that Sonic's is very rarely letting up. There's the command grab. Without the Rage Art, though, it's not quite going to kill. Sonic survives and is safely back onto the stage. And this is just looking harder and harder for Anality. That percentage damage is racking up. The Rage Art is online, but is Anality going to get to use it? Oh, throwing out the back air to cover the space to prevent the edge guard from happening, but Sonic's right back on stage with the back air anyways. The Rage Art will still remain unused. Anality does Moving with the burst option, finds that dash attack, that big jumping forward kick for the stock there. So it will not be a 3-0 this time, but wow. Sonic's on one interaction, 50%, and still applying pressure. Still managing a disadvantage situation there. 
already taking the Rage Art online from Anality. Off of basically one one interaction in neutral there, and Anality also on the ledge is able to find the command grab, but at this point, that Rage Art command grab was only used to create space and alleviate the pressure. There was not a whole lot of, you know, there's no way that was going to take a stock there. And now that tool is offline for the rest of the game. Because Anality is on that last stock. Sonic's moving with another grab. This is the moment. Oh, no. That spring move is too far out. That's it. Sonic's with one last edge guard there with a low, low, low hit on the spring. Is it going to take first place with the 3-0 in the bracket reset in Grand Finals?